Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Dan Tanner from Tanner So Lit, and Mac users, I got something for you. I'm about to show you guys how to use your Canon DSLR as a webcam for your Mac, but for free. Yeah! So enough of me yapping, it's time to make it happen. Let's go. Well, all right, good people, here we are at the Elgato website. Now, Elgato is a company that makes this device right here. And this device is a device that a lot of content creators that stream on YouTube, Facebook, and etc. use. It's called the Cam Link. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of people believe that this is the only way that you can get your Canon DSLR to work as a webcam on your computer. But first things first, let's check out the price and see how much it costs. As you can see, it's on sale right now for $129.99. So that's $129.99 plus tax and plus shipping. So you're probably looking at around what? The late 130s to 140 or something like that. But that's the price you're going to pay for a cam link. But let me show you what I use. Well, all right, good people. Now, in order to get the first thing, you got to go to Google.com and type in the search browser. Camera live app for Mac. Now select the first selection where it says releases. It's gonna take you to the site right here, which has the download link. Now what you wanna do is, when you get to the site, scroll on down to where it says latest release right here to your left. Go down under assets and click CameraLive.zip and save the app from there. And now when Camera Live is downloaded, you unzip it and install it. Now, when you open the app, you're going to see a very simple interface. This little interface right here, this is what you're going to see. It's going to have the word active to let you know that your camera is active and everything and the name of your camera right here. But I'm going to show you guys the cable that you're going to need because some cameras didn't come with a data cable. Let's go. All right, good people. This is the cable that you're going to need to make everything work together. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is a USB cable that's made for cameras. So just because you have a USB cable laying around the house with the same tips and everything doesn't mean it's going to work. Trust me. <laughs> I tried to do it two or three times. So go down below and click the link in the description so you can get this. And look at the price. At the time, $7.85. Sounds a lot better than 130 bucks, right? Now for the second software that you're going to need, go back to google.com and type in cam twist for Mac. And select the first selection that says cam twist. It's going to take you to the official cam twist website. This is the software right here that ties everything beautifully together. Now right here where it says download now, click on that. and click on this download button right here, press save, and then install the software. It's very simple and easy to install. Now, all right, we got our USB cable connected, our camera on, and we got camera live launched. As you can see, it's active, it's reading the camera, it's beautiful. Let me scoot this over. Now we're gonna open up Cam Twist. This right here is the interface for Cam Twist. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The first thing that you want to do is you want to go up to your top left, highlight cam twist, then go down to preferences. Now, in preferences, you want to go down and make sure that you get the right frame rate. Right now, I'm streaming at 30 frames per second. So if you got a 60 frames per second camera and everything, type in 60 if you're streaming in 60. Now, down below where it says video size, select the video size that you want. But as you can see, 1080p is not an option. You have to type it in just like I did. That's 1920 by 1080 right there. Then below that, make sure that this is checked. That it reads enable the siphon server. This is very, very important. You'll see why. Now let's exit out of that. Go back to the interface and highlight a bunch of video sources, siphon. Then after that, hit select. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And then you see right here, it says effects in use siphon. This is going to siphon the video image 
from your DSLR to your Mac. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, right here over to the right, where it says, please select, click on that, and select camera live. And people, it's just that simple, and you're ready to go. He ain't lying. Let me show you. Well, all right, everybody. Right about now, I'm at StreamYard.com. I'm about to start a live stream. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So right now, only thing you see is my logo and everything. But when I hit this button right here, start cam, here I am live in the flesh. And to prove that it's working, I go to cam mic right here, this little gear wheel, click on that. And as you can see, I got for the camera cam twist selected. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And down below, I could change up the resolution or whatever. Me, I'm streaming at the highest they got right now, 720p. So people, for free, <laughs> you can use your Canon DSLR as a webcam on YouTube, Facebook, or whatever. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So now you see, it's very, very easy and very, very inexpensive to use your Canon DSLR as a webcam for your Mac. But check this out. Now this is for those who bought their cameras used or their cameras just didn't come with it. Man, go to amazon.com or click the link below in the description and get this right here. This is a power adapter supply for your DSLR. Yes sir, yes sir. And look at the price, $13.99 at the time, 14 bucks, that's not that bad. And people, you're gonna need this because if you do a lot of live streaming or stream for a long time, your battery's gonna die out. And man, I done seen it time and time again with somebody's live streaming on YouTube and the camera just went kaput and they had to change the battery. So if you go on Amazon right now and get this power supply, you ain't got to worry about that no more. And people, if you want to get a better lens than your kit lens, then man, go to Amazon.com right now and get this Canon ESFS 24mm. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This lens right here is the truth. It's a slim pancake lens that is very, very crisp and handles low lighting very, very well. If you can afford it and if you can swing it, man, go ahead and pay that 129 and make that happen. It's truly, truly worth it. And when it comes to that lens right there, I gotta thank two people, my guy J Will <laughs> and my guy Technically T, because those two guys put me on game about the 24 millimeter lens and man, they wasn't wrong at all. Well, all right, everybody. That just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your guy Camera Live and Cam Twist a thumbs up because that's official. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But if you have not yet subscribed to my channel to feel the whole swag and madness of Dan Tanner and Team Lit, then do that too because that's official too. All right, everybody. Get money. Get respect. And enjoy your tech. Be easy.